<clears throat> I would like to now yield to Mr. Weber. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I am ready to get going. Okay. Dr. Burr. We always like to speak. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ranking Member Bass, um, for calling this timely hearing. Obviously, the grave situation of the 300 girls, nearly 300 girls that were kidnapped near um, Chibuk is something that um, continues to distress many of us. Um, you know, according to the United Nations, we have seen over 500 schools um, that have been destroyed in Ni northern Nigeria by Boko Haram, leaving over 15,000 students without access to education, um, and scores more, thousands more, who are now um, really fearful about ob obtaining that, that education. And, and, you know, it, it, it is th those acts of, of terrorism that start to, to drive folks um, from just a normal civilized life. You know, we are also, you know, I, I look forward to hearing from, from um, you know, the witnesses on what more we could do to, to help better support those within Nigeria. But then also, um, you know, when, you know, Ranking Member Bass touched on, um, you know, the sources of funding that are funding Boko Haram, um, you know, if I read some of the reports from Nigerian troops and, and so forth, um, many of them feel as though, you know, again, if, if I were to, to trust the reports, that they are under-equipped um, compared to the Boko Haram um, troops and forces. So, you know, if they are going into the, the north and into some of the, the more difficult terrain um, to fight against one of the, the, the more better-equipped armies um, in Nigeria. One thing that, that we could do short of um, actually sending troops in would be to look for those sources of funding and look for those foreign sources of funding and try to, you know, as effectively as possible, um, address the, the sources that, that are funding the, the, the Boko Haram troops and their equipment. In addition, I think I stand with Chairman Smith and um, Ranking Member Bass and the members of this subcommittee that um, we are committed to, to doing what we can um, as the people of the United States working with the, the international community to continue to aggressively uh, address and you know, uh, fight the terrorism that, that is coming out of Boko Haram. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Mr. Burr, thank you very much. Mr. Cicilline. 